Today, we're talking about whether or not a hot tub should be under a roof. As you can see, I think, mine is not under a roof. In fact, I have never owned a hot tub that's under a roof, and I've owned four of them. But there are some key benefits to having a roof over your hot tub, and that's what we're talking about right now. First and foremost, I live in Texas, and even though it's only April right now when I'm recording this, it was 96 degrees here today. So you can bet a cover would prevent the sun from beating down both on me if I was soaking in this right now, but it also keeps my hot tub cover from taking a beating. And it also keeps leaves out. My hot tub is surrounded by trees and I have to regularly trim the branches back on my trees to keep the leaves and debris out of the water. A roof can also cut down on wind. It can also help keep snow off of your cover if you live somewhere like say Minnesota where it gets, takes a beating in the winter time. It can also help with privacy too because it's easy to add curtains or maybe lattice or some kind of trellis for privacy. And in a future video, I'm going to go deeper into some privacy ideas, including some inexpensive DIY ones. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know when that video comes out. All right, so the best thing, and I kind of alluded to this, the best thing about having a cover over your hot tub is the wear and tear it's going to save you on your cover. A good cover should last you a minimum of five years if you take care of it. And uh, the easiest thing you need to do is probably put some armor all or some other kind of similar protectorant on there a few times a year in addition to keeping it clean. However, if it's just getting the afternoon sun all day long, you know, seven days a week, 365 days out of the year, you're shortening the lifespan of your cover by as much as three years. So having a roof over there, it, over your hot tub, is going to protect that cover and get you a lot more lifespan out of it. And that's a lot more lifespan before you have to replace it, which, like I said, is kind of expensive. It's a few hundred dollars minimally. Now, the downside of having a cover or a roof over your hot tub is it cuts down on your ability to see the stars at night. My wife and I like to sit out here in the evening sometime and enjoy a soak and we look up and see the stars. We kind of live out in the country where you see a lot of stars. If you live in a city, maybe that's not something that you get get much benefit from anyway because you don't see that many stars but where I live I see a lot of stars at night and a cover would prevent that. However, a retractable awning is one of the ways that you can uh, get the best of both worlds. You can kind of roll that awning out you know when the sun is beating down and roll it back at night. It's easy to do, kind of like what you see on the side of an RV a lot of the time. You just crank it out there. They do have some automated ones as well. Hi everyone. My name is Jeff Campbell. This is my channel, Hot Tub Owner HQ. I also have my website, hottubownerhq.com. And both here and on my website, I share all of the best tips that I know, having owned four different hot tubs over the course of many years. I've learned a lot along the way. I've made a lot of mistakes. And my goal with this channel and my website is to help you navigate around some of the challenges and some of the bonehead moves that I've made with my hot tubs. I want to save you headaches. And that's why I'm sharing all of the best tips that I have right here, right now. If you like this video, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button as well and click the bell notification button. That way you get notified of future videos just like this one. At any rate, there's a few different ways you can go about putting a roof over your hot tub. A gazebo is a really cool idea and you can buy kits on Amazon even and I'll link to my favorite one in the description here. But And that can be just large enough to fit around the hot tub itself or you can kind of create a whole outdoor living area with a gazebo. It can also add privacy from those prying eyes of your neighbors as well and it can kind of become a focal point of your backyard. A pergola is also very similar to a gazebo, but it generally doesn't have a solid roof. And one thing that, couldn't be, that can be definitely be cool is to use kind of a smoky colored 
corrugated plastic roof. Uh, you've seen like the kind of corrugated tin roofs. Well, they also make that in kind of like a plexiglass, but it's kind of tinted like window tint. So it kind of allows you to see out, but it can reduce some of the sun's harmful rays. So that's another way of giving you the best of both worlds. And those sheets are easily found at Home Depot or Lowe's and can definitely be installed by you. You don't have to hire a professional for that. Another idea is to get a screened-in porch or a sunroom, or you could even buy a greenhouse kit. That's again, is something that you can DIY together pretty quickly for an instant sunroom. It gives you some privacy, gives you some protection from the weather, but it also allows you to see out and enjoy the nature while you're having your soak. So real quick, I mentioned a gazebo that I loved that you can find on Amazon. So I just wanted to talk briefly about that and show you what that looks like, because it's an awesome product. It doesn't require any professional installation, something you can just DIY. It's available currently for under $400. It's by a company called Crown Shades, and the size is 10 feet by 12 feet. It also comes with curtains that you can close for privacy or leave open to kind of get a nice breeze going through there. It's got enough room for eight to 12 people. Uh, obviously, if you're putting a hot tub in the middle of that, that's gonna cut down on that somewhat. The roof itself has an SPF of 50, so it's gonna block out a lot of the sun. And it's also a really super heavy duty material, so it's gonna be perfect for kind of keeping the wind and the snow um, at bay and helping protect the life of your hot tub cover in particular. Um, but it's really a great product. Uh, it's an Amazon's Choice product and almost every review is a five-star rating. And like I said, it's under $400, so it's really a steal. You can just put it together yourself, doesn't require professional installation. It's a great way to go if you're looking for something to just kind of throw together quickly without spending a lot of money, um, but you want something that's going to last and going to look great. I would get that. Again, my name is Jeff Campbell. This is my channel, Hot Tub Owner HQ. I also have my website, hottubownerhq.com. I'd love for you to join me on this journey by giving me a thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, that way you get notified of future videos just like this one. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a quickie, and I'll see you in the next one.